Oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't see you there. I was casting magical spells. We're going to go on, and we're going to see what we can get up to today in Harry Potter. We haven't gone to a class in a while. We haven't cast a spell in a while. But we've spent a lot of time running away from Filch. And I think the game just cut ahead. So, new beginnings, and new Ryan things. And Harry researched the secret of the Philosopher's Stone. It could produce the elixir of life, a potion that would make anyone immortal. No wonder someone's trying to get it. Anyone would want it, said Harry. Would and anyone want it? it that the what about someone who's like Ringgards immortal, but they're the trapped stone. in Guantanamo the Bay? So they're immortal the in Guantanamo Bay, Bay, getting tortured on the daily. What about that? Would ground. they want it, Harry? Snape's been acting very suspicious lately. He may be planning to steal the Philosopher's Stone. But there's no way Snape would try anything while Dumbledore's around. But Dumbledore left ten minutes ago for the Ministry of Magic in London. Oh, that no! Must mean that tonight's the night! Let's go! Let's go! Is this the end of the game? Are we approaching the end of the game? If this is the end of the game, we'll give it one whopper of, the, well, one whopper of an episode Filch? for the finale. He's always watching the Forbidden Corridor. We'll just have to take our chances then. <sighs> it looks like Filch is somewhere else tonight. Well, thank God, because if I had to avoid Filch for any more, I might cry. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Save point. Magical chest. For some reason, I don't think we've got all of the wizard cards. We've got 18 out of 25, and I don't see there being seven. Although, here's another one. Don't see there being seven in the last segment of the game, though. Or well, maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe this isn't the end. But to me, it seems like we're approaching the end of the game. I've got to start getting emotional now so that I might be able to produce some tears. This way, Harry! Oh, they like came back to me like, what is he up to over there? Sorry guys, I was just trying to trigger the picking up of the wizard card. There's this weird animation, but if you're already standing inside of it, it doesn't trigger I it. I think this is where the you growling has been coming from. <gasps> I wonder what we do to deal with the thing. I don't think we should go in there. We've never talked to Hagrid about it, so playing. we don't know. How? Go on, Harry. We're right behind you. <laughs> Just see them run on. <laughs> Leave me to deal with this three-headed dog. It's not... It doesn't stick that closely to the book at all. Or, like, a logical story. At least the book didn't leave massive holes. It's a good game. So annoying. Up yours, you stupid dog! If you bite me again... Thank God. I don't really understand. As far as I can tell, it just has like an adjustment to how long you've been trying to complete the challenge and gets it's easier okay. the more you've been it's doing so it. Funny. Because quite frankly, yeah. Or maybe they, it gets more to, more and more tired the more times you make it fall asleep. I don't understand. Come on, Harry. Also, we're probably going to die because I've nearly run out of health. So when we save, I should have probably let it kill me so I could come back with more health. I don't understand why it kept biting me while I was playing the flute to it. That was pretty weird. I know what this is. It's a devil's snare. Is it relaxing? I'm gonna pay more attention in herbology. Or help! It's a devil's snare. Or uh, the other Try one. Not to get too close to those uh oh. This is weird. I need to cast it on that one, Harry. They're lying. Oh, this is weird. 
Get Ron down! The game sometimes makes itself more difficult by, like, disabling the auto-aim, so you have to aim the spells, which is really difficult. Alright, we freed everyone. It's okay. <laughs> Thanks, clone. Harry. That was close, Harry. <laughs> me, Harry. You, you think that's close? Just you wait till we get to the next challenge. I've barely got any health left. It's just going to be a joke. At least this is... Oh no, uh, presumably if we hit any of the green Time things. To your skills to practice. I've heard stories about how hard this bit is. Good luck, Harry. <sighs> um, well, there's the snitch. I don't think we're meant to be trying to catch a snitch. We're meant to be trying to catch a key. And it just. But where did it go? That's tricky. Get off me! Get off me! I love that it's got the rings, but you don't actually have to go anywhere near the rings. You just have to try and catch the thing. Oh. Oh! This is very tricky. If we die, I'm going to be distraught because we have to go back to the dog. Got it! Get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Got it! With one health point remaining. Well done, Harry. Let's see what this Hopefully to like five chocolate frogs. That'd be cool. Maybe six chocolate frogs even. You know, I hadn't really needed them or cared about them until this point in the game, but now that we're nearly dead and we're right at the end and I have to redo a lot to get back, I'm starting to feel a bit distressed about the chocolate frogs. Also about the six we cards that we're missing. That and the 40 odd, 41 points we need. I, hope he's all right. I think we get 50 for doing this. Oh, we've got half our health back. We've got health back. The game just gave it to us for free. Not so bad. That's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you, Idubs. Oh, Ron, are you all right? I've defeated most of the pieces, but I've been hurt. It's up to you now, Harry. How did he even get away? Harry, where, where were we? You have to be careful and avoid the pieces. They all move one square at a time. Do they? Is that you how chess works? The pieces fight each other in order to get across safely. Walk onto the board, Harry, to start the game. Do be careful. Okay, well, they all move one piece. And we're closest to those two. So we want to start at least in this square. Uh, Alright, I reckon we can... If we go there... They'll fight each other, yep. Good. And they should fight each other. Well, here's the place then. He's gonna move there. He's going to move to the one above him. We need to go there. That was not what I expected them to do. That's fine. There we go. Chess cleared. 
Come on, let's go. Woohoo! Mm, 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 mm. I don't know why Hermione hasn't done anything at all. What use is she? Mm. Mm -mm. Harry Potter, I'm the best. Harry Potter, I'm the best. We are gonna defeat Quirrell. Oh, this is Hermione's turn to shine, but I bet we're gonna have to do it instead. Oh, no. The exit is blocked by magic I'm gonna need fire. a piece of paper for this. This Looks is really like tricky. The right potion. Be careful, yeah, of course Harry. we're going it to. Poison. <sighs> this one looks like it will help us through the fire. Watch closely and keep your eye on the correct potion. Then choose wisely. It's that one. How do I get it? Flipendo. I don't think I'd pick that one. But then I could be wrong. You're wrong, Hermione. It's that one. I hope. Turns me into like a tree. Oh no. Oh. <coughs> Hermione's like lying down next to us. Well at least we get another chance. I could have sworn it was that one. I didn't. I, I did miss the first movement though. I was kind of thinking about how the original way was a riddle, and it was quite a clever riddle. It could be poison. But that's fine. This is one way of doing it. Looks like it will help us through the fire. Watch closely and keep your eye on the correct potion. Then choose wisely. Ah uh ha! -huh. That one. Again. Oh, what? It's that one, Hermione. Oh dear. Oh no! Okay, thank you, Hermione. Just get with the moving. Keep your eye on the correct potion. Then choose wisely. Oh, it's the same one every time. That's fine. Hermione, make the potions move again. Here it goes again. That one on the top right. Here it goes again. Bottom where it was originally. That's really confusing. Bottom left. Shut up, Hermione. I'm trying to concentrate. In the middle. Well done, Harry. You picked the right one. <sighs> I hope that hadn't gone on for one more, because I probably would have lost my mouth. Got the right potion, though. Got to find Snape on your own. I'll go back and help Ron. Snape? I wonder if the uh, enemy in the game is Snape. That would be interesting. Uh, did I drink it? Can I walk through? Okay, phew. I can't believe I've missed six wizard cards. Oh, wow, look at this. It's the chocolate frog, frog explosion. Just what I've been dreaming of. Few extra. Oh, Quirrell. What are you up to, Quirrell? I'm on to you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, 
that was a tricky one. Oh no, Quirrell's final box of chocolates. Oh no. I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. Why does he sound like I suppose Professor you were Snape? expecting someone else? Well, it's me, scared, stuttering Professor Quirrell. You're far too inquisitive to remain among the living. Don't kill me. That's rude. Whoa, he just hit me with the Vada Kedavra. Like straight off the bat, he's just an abracadabraing me. Don't abracadabra me, you dingbat. It's very rude. Don't you know any manners? No, no, don't, don't, don't do that, Harry. Harry, you'll die. Oh, shit. No, Harry! Harry, why? Why is that a control? Ow. Jesus. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. There is no way that I'm going to manage this. How, how many do I have to get up there? Just this, this little one and the big one? Pretty sure I can reach now, Quirrell, actually. I've done similar jumps in the past. Quirrell! Oh, shit. At least you can hide behind this. Quirrell! Don't make me flipendo, you Quirrell! Ah. Uh. Now. What am I doing here, Quirrell? succeed again. I, I'm here, Quirrell. I'm, I got upstairs into your chamber of secrets. <laughs> I don't un, I don't think I know one point in this game where the health system has been used so that it matters. The game is either so easy that you don't need to care about the health system or it is so difficult that the health system doesn't matter because you're basically going to die instantly like those little blue pixies that pretty much killed you instantly so the health system didn't matter or here where i mean you just get given more health at the end of each segment so i don't know i think i've got the philosopher's stone though so i win the game right that's how it works he has the stone give me the stone no let me speak to him face to face. No. No. So you're, you're not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. I'm so scared. Oh, he's so horribly bo Oh my god. I thought he'd just turn around. Not like that. Also, which one's Quirrell? I can tell this isn't going to be easy. Let's flipendo him. You can't escape me. What are we doing? Abracadabraing Voldemort? I don't understand. What am I meant to be doing, Voldemort? I died! The worst thing about dying is having to watch all the cutscenes again. There's no way to turn them off. And still Slytherin had more house points than us. I hate the cutscenes! I hate how long they are! I hate that there's no skip button! Quirrell, please! Just kill me now! Just don't put me through another cutscene! 
Oh! If you turn the mirror around... Oh, so you always cast it so that it faces him. Okay, that's cool. I understand everything now. Cast it at him, dickhead. Harry, why? Harry, why? Now we have to watch the cutscene again! Harry. You can't escape me, but I'm so Get him! At least I'm not going to try and cast Flopendo with his magic anymore. He's so stupid. I mean, for Voldemort. Come on, Voldemort. Can't you see what game we're playing here? Every time the pillar fill falls on you, don't you feel like a bit of a dummy? Oh, that's... It only spins one direction? Ah, oh, fuck. Stupid moldy pants. Oh, shoot. Okay, so when he gets to half health... Voldemort, I'm only a little boy. Stop it. It's very mean. Now oh, he's doing that one again. You can't escape me, but I'll surrender the stone. Got him. He's mean, that Voldy Mance. You can rebound his spell at him. Sometimes. Okay, we only have to do one more, but if he hits us one more time, we're dead. Got him! Did he die? Yes! No more cutscene with Quirrell! Oh. I don't care that Voldemort's dead, I'm just so... Oh. For God's sakes, Harry, keep it together for five minutes. And there's Dumbledore like, yeah, thanks for doing the good work there, Harry. I could have stepped in at any minute, but I knew you could do it. What happened down in the dungeons between yourself and Professor Quirrell? It's a complete secret. Because you don't want to tell anyone so that you just watched. The whole school knows. The stone had been destroyed, but Harry remained fearful <sighs> that its loss would not prevent Lord Voldemort's return. Dumbledore nodded, sharing his concern. Nevertheless, Harry, if our battles do no more than slow Voldemort's return, with luck he may never regain his power at all. Fair. Harry made his way down to the end of the year feast alone that night. The great hall was decked out in green and silver to celebrate Slytherin winning the house cup. I didn't. I should have got and some Harry bonus entered, points. There was a sudden hush. He took a seat between Ron and Hermione, trying to ignore the stares of the other students. That's the house cup, announced Dumbledore is awarded to the team with the most house points. At the moment, that would seem to be Slytherin. However... A storm of cheering and stamping broke out from the Slytherin table. Look at that Gustav. However, continued Dumbledore, in recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor 60 points. Ooh! We could have done even worse. 
Harry's table erupted with cheers and applause. I'm still torn the up about the uh, Dumbledore cards. For Gryffindor. It was the best evening of Harry's life. Better than winning at Quidditch or Christmas or knocking out mountain trolls. Better than winning at Christmas. Would never, ever forget tonight. <laughs> and that's the end, folks. But it doesn't end there, apparently. Snape still has some work to do, and we still have six cards to collect, I reckon, in my personal opinion. And work out what these Weasley twins are up to. Snape should be dancing with glee. Look how many beans he has. <laughs> I wonder what we do with our other 400 odd beans. Damn. We missed heaps of wizard cards. Well, uh, that's all for Harry Potter, I guess. That's the end of the game. Um, this will be... I think this is the first time ever that we will actually finish a game as a Let's Play on this channel, so that's really exciting. Um, I hope you've really enjoyed it. I'm going to be getting straight into the second Harry Potter game. I'm already thinking about playing it, and it's probably, as of recording this, two weeks from when this is even going to be on YouTube. So I'm gonna be getting well ahead of myself if I do that, but I've I've really genuinely enjoyed playing this game, although at the end it did get quite tricky and reasonably frustrating. We'll definitely play through the second at uh, the Chamber of Secrets. Not sure about the third games and onwards, but I'd like to, but um I have heard some reports that they do get kind of stupidly difficult, and I think if I get too annoyed with playing a game I probably will stop. So it just depends on how difficult they are and if, I, if people still want to watch them. People have really enjoyed this, I know that. It's probably my most popular series. Thank you all who've watched it. I hope you've enjoyed doing this. Well, you must have, right? Otherwise you wouldn't have watched it. Uh, I'm going to go now before I say something stupid. Bye!